Right, hi again. Uh, I'm bombarding you with videos, aren't I? No particular reason. I just, I don't know, you seem to like them, so... Uh, right, first of all, this that I did last time on camera, on the blog. Um, jury's out on that. I do like it, I love it, but I think it needs something else on there. So I'm still thinking about that. And then there's this one that I did on the camera as well. I want to finish this, it needs something else. So what I'm going to do is I've marked out spaces here and put holes for stitch because I think just a simple line of ladders going up there in the cotton abroader will massively lift that page. Um, I'm just looking for a needle. Now just to say as well I have like a big studio light for filming and stuff that I use mostly, like I mostly use it for class videos. Um, what I mean by that, that's not really the best way to play it. When I make a video for class, I nearly always use it. I'm not using it today. I sometimes use it when I make them for my blog. But the reason I'm not using it today is because it's a lovely day out there. It's very early in the morning. It's only about 8 o'clock. But the sun is beautiful. And I don't want to shut it out. Because when I use my big um, studio light, I need to shut my blinds. <clears throat> because everybody walking past... I mean, people don't walk directly past my window, but anybody going past or driving past would be able to see in. Um, so today, basically, I haven't got that light on and I've got my blinds up, so everybody walking past can see what I'm doing. So if I get a crowd gathering, which I doubt very much. Um, so anyway, just, so I just hope it's bright enough. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't have to talk rubbish, don't I? So I've marked it here. So I've knotted my cotton abroader and I'm just going to come up through the back, through the hole. And I'm literally just going to do a ladder up here of stitches going across like that. And honestly, I'm convinced it's going to transform this page. And it'll also transform the other side because very often when you're working on paper, the back is equally as interesting as the front. So... Let's just see. I haven't really got much else to say, apart from, you know, this is what I'm doing. Up and down. See, already, already I can see that making a difference there. So, the reason you're getting videos is because you like them. Um, and because, well, I like doing them, to be honest. Sometimes I go around scratching my head thinking about what can I take photographs off for my blog? Because a lot of the time I'm working on things for class that you can't see until Dave's seen them. Um, and I'm like, oh, what am I going to put on there today? Let me have a look. Me... So really, spending a couple of minutes with you, having a chat, um, putting the kettle on, it's uh, just as, well, I'm assuming that you like it, but I enjoy it. If you don't enjoy it, I apologise. But I do. Um, I have to say that I do like making these little videos for my blog. I haven't progressed the piece from yesterday yet. I haven't had chance because I'm working on stuff for class with that that um, block printed fabric in it. I don't know, that may have to go on the back burner for a while now because we're getting close to finishing a few things in class. So, but see, I'm almost there now. A, little, a tiny little exercise, okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to lie, I had some prep to do for this, but it wasn't massive prep. It didn't take a huge amount of time. Um, and I'm nearly up there now. Nearly. And obviously, I'm loath to give too much away because, you know, a lot of stuff I do in classes and it needs to remain exclusive for them. But I don't think I'm doing much harm stitching on a bit of paper here for a few minutes. But can you see how that is lifting that page? And when I get to the top, I will show you the back. I mean, we're there now. I've only got about another four to do. So very quick. I've done this before on massive sheets of paper as well. As part of big paper-based... Um, artworks and it's like I said yesterday in that video just the repetitive it's just right up my street and I get so much pleasure from it um, I sometimes once was told that I 
embrace the tedious, which I do. Um, that was said not as a criticism in a joking way, like this person who said it was like, oh, it'd kill me, I couldn't do that, but that I embrace it. I love it. So right, I'm going to fasten that off now, and then I'm going to pull the camera in, and then you'll be able to see the front and the back. Okay. Just thread that through there. Turn it on. Now, massive difference. Really, really enhanced it. I think you may disagree. Um, can you see it? Love it. So that's another. That's like continuing a page. It's going to go in one of my little books if I ever get them made. Um, so, like I suggested, I still need to make about 20 pages, but I don't want to rush them. I want to take my time and do them in a considered way. So that's the front. But look at the back. Okay. So if I get another page that's done, let's say uh, this one. Okay, and imagine this is a little book. We put that in there as part of the little book. I'll just pull out again. Right, so say this is your book and you're leafing through the pages. Um, and then you go to that bit. So that is going to be opposite whatever I choose to put here. I might not use this page, but so that's going to be opposite whatever I choose to put here. <coughs> so it gives interest to that side as well. So, you know, really, you're doing a double a double thing there. Um, decorative fits in with this front bit and lives with that front bit of pattern in perfectly, but also creates interest on the back for the next double spread. Okay, so I'm going to turn off now. Um, I just So I hope you enjoyed that. And like I said, I'm going to do something else with this. And I'll do it on camera when I've decided, but I don't know when that will be. You know, don't hold your breath. Um, I'm thinking about it. Okay.